Hello to you and welcome to part two of my series, What to Pack. We focused on the first go around on shoes and hopefully I gave you some ideas of some good travel shoes and way to get the most bang for your buck uh, on what to bring. And today I wanna to focus on jewelry. And right outside the jewelry box, let me state that I do not travel with expensive jewelry. I had a really bad experience traveling overseas and I had a nice, necklace with me and I thought it was locked in the safe. Turns out the safe was not locked and sure enough that nice necklace went bye-bye and it absolutely broke my heart. So from that point forward I decided that when I travel I will pack light and I will pack costume and all the good stuff will stay behind in a safety deposit box or in a safe or at my mother's or wherever. But uh, I learned the hard way that you know it's really painful to lose a valuable piece. So with this in mind I would like to present some um, travel ideas when it comes to jewelry that also plays into today's trends and I think will help pare things down and simplify for you. Um, it really doesn't have to be stressful. It can be quite fun if you just think of certain key pieces that will go with a lot of different things and then it really takes the guesswork out of it. So with that in mind, I want to start with the first one and that is going to be the choker. The choker is one of the most versatile pieces because it can be dressed up, it can be dressed down, it can go with a t-shirt, it could go with a really nice dress, but it is the it piece this season and there are many variations of the choker. You've got a wide band like this one. Uh, you also have something nice and skinny like this little black felt with a drop down bead, which again can really make an evening dress pop. Um, I love chokers with a deep v-neck. I just think that it kind of breaks that up. You, you, the eye goes here but yet it comes up. It's a wonderful illusion and I just love the simplicity, the versatility, and how easily they pack. So please, if you do have travel plans, keep a choker in mind for some of your outfits. I think you might surprise yourself in how much wear you can actually get out of something like this. And let me also state that as I launch into this, so many of these pieces I bought at Etsy or Amazon. Uh, there's one local designer that I used to purchase a couple of pieces and I'll share her with you in just a bit, but you really don't have to spend a lot and I don't want you to. And in fact, I'd like you to be able to utilize what you have and pull through your stuff and do some interesting combinations. But if you don't have a choker, go get one. This one I got on Etsy cost next to nothing and I just love this piece. I actually wore this uh, to a wedding with an evening gown and I mean this thing must have cost me $15 and who would have ever known. So there you go. And next up are pendant necklaces to layer. This one is really easy and fun to do because I know a lot of you have very simple necklaces, whether a gold or a little string of pearl or a drop down necklace, and you can go through your items and create themes and combinations. So I really started with this larger one that has kind of a off white little crystal type of a bead with a gold locket. And so I figured I would stick with the white and gold and I married with it a little pearl tiny tiny necklace and then a gold one with a cross and then you combine all of these necklaces and it creates a really neat drapey effect so for instance a white sundress or a white t-shirt sort of doing the white and gold going from shorter to longer to longer to longer again creates a long look it's not too in your face because again you're sticking with really small pieces here but it's the creativity is what you choose to put together and just make sure that everything steps down so you go from a short to a medium to a medium long and to a long and as long as you kind of work with that pattern you can do these types of colors i've got something here that's kind of a light gray i could stick with grays and silvers depending on what kind of color scheme i'm looking to create but this i love because you literally just go into your jewelry cabinet and sit there and play artist and figure out okay what am I going to pair with what here and how is this going to look and then what am I going to put it with? Really, really big jewelry trend is layering the pendant necklace this season. Okay, so in line with piling on the necklaces would be piling on the bracelets. If one is good, two is better, three even better, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
off the charts. Here again, go into your uh, jewelry cabinet, see what you have, start pairing things, see what looks good together. Kind of, I, I start with the bigger ones toward the back and then get smaller and smaller as my wrist gets smaller. So I might take something like this, which is a beaded gold type uh, costume jewelry and start here and then work my way down. Uh, this one kind of wraps around and I play with them on the floor and I'll see how they look together. Um, then this is like a white gold. That'll go here. And then I have some smaller ones that I'll put here. And before you know it, it's a heapin' helpin' of jewelry, but it all works together. It's very playful and fun. If I do something like this, and, and here's how I treat jewelry. If I have a lot going on in one area, I won't do much anywhere else. So I might do this, a watch, a small earring, and that's it. If I'm stacking all of the necklaces, I'll keep it very simple on my wrist, maybe a couple of rings, that's it. So pick the area that you wanna emphasize, stick with that. We wouldn't do a smoky eye and a bold red lip because it might be too much. Pick your area that you want to play up. So again, stacking bracelets, a really, really big and popular trend this season. And have fun with your costume jewelry. See what you can put together and how creative you can get with that. Okay, next up, if we're stacking necklaces and stacking bracelets, by golly, why leave off the rings? They're stacking those too. So again, if you have, and this only works if you have smaller rings. If not, don't worry about it. Just stick with the larger ones. And I'll show you some different options with that. But smaller rings, they're stacking and they're putting some here. Some are even going in this area. So see what you have and play around. But I've got a couple of stackable pieces. So I might do something like this with this on top and then next to it maybe something like that. And then this one has a stacked effect on it. So before you know it, I have a couple of pieces here that are stackable and they're not too big. If I do something like this, I will downplay my wrist maybe with a very simple little cuff type of a bracelet. So this again has a similar look to the rings. Um, it's minimalistic on my wrist. I'm really drawing the attention to the different uh, creative ideas that I have going on my fingers. Now, if you are not a stackable ring kind of gal and you prefer large and chunky, hey, nothing wrong with that either. I like that too. Um, some of my favorite rings are really, really bold designs and I'll wear one ring and one ring only. And I may do something like this and a bold earring or a necklace and that's it. Um, this piece I told you I would share a Houston designer. Uh, ShopUniqueUrbanRocks.com, great stuff. My friend Kim Jackson does this and she uses all different types of stones, bracelets, rings, necklaces, um, very unusual pieces, a little bit pricier. So most of what I featured is uh, extremely reasonable stuff that you can buy, like I said, at Etsy or Amazon. She's a little bit higher in price point, but if you're looking to make a bit of an investment with a costume piece, she'll use semi-precious stones. And what I love about her is uh, she donates a portion of the proceeds to autism awareness. So she's got a heart of gold on top of it. Get it? Heart of gold. Way to go, Kim. Um, so anyway, ring options for you. Big, bold, and chunky, or skinny and layer it. So have fun with that, okay? And I'm coming in even closer for this next trend. Look to glamorous stars like J-Lo and Rihanna to set the trend. The trend would be the ginormous gold hoop earring. Simple, elegant. You can go any size here. If this is a little bit too big, too bold, too crazy for you, no worries. Scale it down a size, but still don't be too shy in breaking out the sizable hoop, okay? This is very fun. This would be more evening if you're at a resort somewhere and you're going out at night and you got the maxi dress going. Pop in the big gold hoop or, you know, with the little black dress. Perfect. Something like this with the bold ring. It's all you need. It's making a statement, but these are super fun and they're lightweight. That's what I love about these. They're feather light. They're not pulling on the ear, but again, it's, it's pow. And then if you've got hair pulled back, right? Even better, let's say you're doing a ponytail. Mine's a little too short for that, but get your hair pulled back and then you can really, 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 really see those earrings. So 
Enjoy your big gold hoops. They're a big trend this season. They pack well, and I think you're going to get a lot of mileage out of them on your trip for sure. And last but not least on my list of must-haves for your travels, if you're going to any warm weather climate where you'll be wearing a sandal, a bathing suit, might I encourage you to revisit the ankle bracelet, anklet. Uh, I just think that these are so great with a swimsuit. If you don't want to wear jewelry anywhere else and you put a little something around your ankle, it just means that you've been thinking about accessorizing. It draws attention, especially if you have a nice pedicure and some bright toes. Fantastic. It looks wonderful. Play up your bathing suit color or go with a contrast or something bright or something sparkly. You can even use, for instance, I have some of these that are wrist tie bracelets. You loop them around a couple of times and you get a bracelet out of it. Well, you can do the same thing around your ankle. A few less wraps, but it works. And something like this is very earthy, very organic, um, and I just think looks great with a bathing suit, especially there's something about a white bathing suit and an ankle bracelet. Can't explain it, but I love it, and I love the fact that it's a big trend this season. So please don't rule that out. So there you have it. Um, my goodness, I hope I've given you lots to think about for your next trip and how you pack your jewelry. Um, all of this is lightweight. It doesn't cost a lot of money. Um, so if I lose any of this, while I might be upset, I clearly won't be brokenhearted. Um, and I, I'm not going through what I went through that one time before. Not, not going there again. Not going to do it. Um, so anyway, I'm, I'm thrilled to share this with you. And then the next part, part three, will be packing. How to put it all together and not bust out of a suitcase, or break the weight limit. There's so much to talk about. Comment, suggestions, ideas after the whole packing series. I'm all ears. I'm all yours. Um, I love you. I hope this is helpful. I'm here for you and because of you. And so, as always, I say thank you so much. Follow me on social media. Be bold. Be blessed. So many options to be bold. Correct? Which one is yours? See you in a week. Thank you.